Alrighty hosses, welcome back and in this video I'm going to show you how to install stuff using the advanced package tool other words APT so whenever you're you know working on a server from the terminal a remote location you just can't open up a browser go to whatever website that you know has something you want to install and click some big button because um this terminal is pretty simple so what Linux did is they included this tool called APT again like I said advanced package tool and this is pretty much their built-in software installer so using this tool we can install packages or whatever we want from the internet now before we even start using this tool it's always a good idea to make sure that it's up to date so if you use sudo and I know I didn't talk to you guys about users but I'll actually talk to you guys about that in the next video but this allows us to run this tool with administrator privileges just think of it like that it actually stands for super user do so what do I want to do as a super user well let's just say apt get which is the tool we want to use but right now we just want to update it so we're not you know downloading like any like Java or PHP or anything like that we're just updating this tool right now so let it do its thing <coughs> oh just ate um whenever I was editing my last video I had a big bowl of ice cream and apparently well it was delicious let's just say that <laughs> alright so let me just clear all that stuff out and before you start installing crap on your computer you probably want to make sure that you don't already have it installed so say that I wanted to install Java on this computer well first I'm gonna just write Java minus version now since this is already installed it's going to say okay this is what version of Java you have if you don't have it installed let's say um I don't have PHP 5 installed it's gonna say um, currently not installed uh, and it gives you a little hint of how you can install it but that's how you can check if you already have stuff installed on your computer so let's just go ahead and I don't know install um, sudo apt get install PHP 5. So in other words, make sure you're running this with super user privileges, apt git install in the name of your package. And you just have to know the name of it, go online and find it. Um, you know, there's not like a big app store for all of Linux. So hit enter and it's gonna say, okay, this package is gonna take up this much amount of memory. Are you cool with that? Yes. Go ahead, do your thing. Dun 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 dun. Okay, it's installing. <clears throat> and all right, I paused the video. I didn't think you guys wanted to see. Just wait there and see the entire installation. But that's all it is. sudo apt-get install and whatever the package name is that you want to install. Now another question that people have is, like, um, I'll show you guys what someone asked me on my forum. So they went online and they downloaded PyCharm and they had it installed on their computer but they weren't exactly sure how to run it. So after they ran it and they were just using Ubuntu desktop they had a folder like this. There's PyCharm community and inside here um okay try click on that but that's a ping so how the heck do I run this thing? Well in order to run shell scripts or um, and this only applies if your program is set up this way but there are some times where you need to run a shell script to kick off your program so in order to do that I'll show you guys how to do that real quick alright so we just want to write CD so we make sure that we're in our home directory and then we're gonna navigate to wherever the script is that we want to run and if you download a program from the internet that's set up this way they're gonna say that this is where the file is this is where the program um, is that you need to run so they said that it was in pi charm community whatever 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 in the directory called bin now if I just write ls we can see that pycharm.sh this stands for shell script and it's just um a program that you can run from the terminal but basically in order to run this what he needed to do is he wanted to write bash pycharm.sh this pretty much means run this uh, shell script that's it 
hit enter and then it's going to kick off so there you go this is going to take a little while to open and that's just because that this is a pretty big program and again um, you're not going to be able to do this like if you uh, have a remote connection to some server because this is a you know a GUI program with an interface this is just for desktop but that's how you would do it but uh, yeah that is how you install stuff using APT and also how you can download desktop programs and run their shell scripts a bunch of random information but there you go thank you guys for watching see you next time